Stampers, it's Liz Holloway at StampersPlus.com and welcome to Broadcasting Tuesday. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to smash the bottle caps. It is in our mini um, spring catalog. It's called the Soto Pop Tops and it's using a one inch uh, circle punch to punch this size. And then if you are uh, wanting to buy this, it comes in a case like this and it's got two different sizes. So you got the larger size and you got the miniature size. So I'll bring this closer and look how pretty it is that it accents the card. So let's get started. What you're going to do is you're going to need your one inch circle punch, your big shot, and this is how you smash it. Okay, so you got your big shot in place. And what you want to do is this time, you see these two tabs? You got your tab two and you got your tab one. Open both of them up. Place your acrylic pad. Place the bottle cap. I would recommend um, the, um, I guess a sharp pen facing down and then all you're going to do is place your second acrylic on top and crank it through to the into the big shot and that's all there is to it awesome eh okay let's put the big shot away okay so depending on which side you want, you can use the, the top, which is already uh, serrated right here, or the, the bottom part, which is um, more smooth and round. Um, what I'm going to do is for this card, I've already stamped my um, bunny with uh, Everyday Bunny, and I'm going to probably zoom this in for you to see a little bit more. So I already pre-colored it and all I'm going to do is take my one inch punch and punch a circle wherever I want the bunny to be. So I'm going to, let's say, about here. Now why I'm going to trim this out, I'll show you in a minute because the reason why I'm trimming this out is because I don't want it white. I want it to have a, a bit of a color background. So all I'm going to do is trim, using my paper snip, trim around the bunny, leaving a little bit of black edge to it. Okay. And when you're trimming something this delicate, move your paper instead of your scissors. This, I, um, I punched a, a one, using a one inch circle just so that it gives me a guideline as to where the bunny is actually going to go. Okay, so here's my bunny. I'm going to take a designer paper and I'm going to punch a one inch circle. Take your multi-purpose glue. And where the bottom of his feet and the ears, I'll, oops, align this with the one inch. Now you can't really see the bunny too well. Um, I may end up changing this. I'm not going to glue this on because I'm actually going to change the bunny to um, a, a white uh, bunny rather than a brown bunny. And. Uh, Here's the end result for that. So then, what you're going to do is take your cardstock, stamp it on, or emboss it on the uh, vine template, 
and what I'm gonna do is I'm using the Sahara Sand ink just to get, highlight the uh, vine. sand away okay so here's my card I'm gonna pop dot this mat let's sew it out This time I'm gonna actually have the card open this way versus this way. So I'm gonna attach this to the card. Now with the flags, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this um, scrap piece. To make the end flag, you can cut it on center and then take your angle um, at the corner and then right to the middle of the cut line. Okay. So here it is again. So here's one piece. Here's another designer paper. Again, I'm going to snip down the middle and right at the corner, I'm gonna snip from the corner to my snip line. And then from the corner to my snip line. So there's a perfect triangle. Okay, and then using glue, your multi-purpose glue, align this with your grid and then so you know where, whether it's straight or not. Oops. Take your second glue, your second piece, and align that at the bottom, okay? Within the scallop circle, I have pre-cut uh, this scallop circle, and then all you're gonna do is take your piercer and your mat, your full mat, and just pierce circles all the way around. And then to secure your your bottle cap, again, which size do you want? I'm going to use the bottom side because I like that look. And uh, take a couple of your dimensionals to pop it up. Adhere it to the card on the back. Pop this up again. There's, there's your card. And your bunny would look like this. Okay. So here is the finished item. See how cute he is. His, I love making my 3x3. Three three. Now, with this uh, bottle cap, uh, the good trend is I just finished creating this. 
and you can create a little necklace for uh, a little girl. Okay, and let me uh, zoom this in so you can actually see. See? It's a little um, bunny. And what a great Easter gift for her. And all I did was I used um, a crocodile to punch a hole right here. And then I attached a chain link um, ball chain. And this is about uh, 16 inch. And this is, I think I'm going to make this uh, a lot and just using various designs of what kind of stamps we have. And then on top, what I did was I took Crystal Effect and apply a thin layer. Now it's still in the drying stage, so that's why it looks so glossy still. Um, but give it overnight and it will become a nice little charm for little girls. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed that and uh, thanks for stopping by. Bye now. Let's do this and do it now I wanna hear you shout